Hey, look, we're back. Where we last looked off. We were doing the... The fuck? Why am I so fast? What the shit? Yeah, we had recently come to the Soldier's Peak, where apparently there was some kind of rebellion going on with the Grey Wardens, and they were summoning demons for something. Not sure why. Why the fuck am I going so fast? Oh, no. Raspberry Jam. Okay, that's where I need to go leave, so go this way. Um... Hi? Step no further, Warden. This one would speak with you. Who or what this are you? This the Dryden, Commander, Sophia. <laughs> All these things. Grandmother? You have slain many of the demon ilk to get here. This one would propose a deal. Levy, I'm afraid your great great grandmother is possessed. That's all she's really let herself go. Shots. My great great grandmother is dead. I don't know what that is. Is there anything else of the real Sophia? This left one has tasted her memories, seen her thoughts and hidden places. But she is food for this one. No more, no less. And why should I trust the demon? What is one woman child compared to your might? Strike me down if my terms offend. They what offend fool me. Who this one would be to betray the warden? Hey, about you this can't deal. be serious. There's nothing left of Commander Dryden. She's possessed. Your fledgling should mind its place. Meek, subservient, quiet. This one will answer your question. The soldier's peak traps me. This one sees so many tantalizing places in the Dryden's memories. This one would see the world herself. For me to be free, into the old mage tower you go and destroy. In return, this one seals the veil. No more demons, no more enemies. Your peak would be safe. Just let this one go into the world. No! On behalf of Levy, tell me about Sophia Dryden. This one Dryden. knows all, but will only talk after the tower lies broken. What exactly will you do if I free this you? This one will roam. This one will see. This one will feed. But without me, the veil will grow weaker. More demons, more misery. You choose just one of my kind, or many. There's no way I make a deal with then you. You are a fool. What? What do you mean? Fuck you, I'm not making a deal with a goddamn demon. Uh, spoilers, by the way. If you actually do accept her offer, you're able to actually, you know, uh, deal with a mage demon. deal with a mage deeper in the tower as opposed to you know dealing with her but fuck that and dealing with a you're mage you're crazy get away from me yeah why am i moving so quickly i'll be right back i'm gonna see if i can maybe fix whatever the fuck's going on here yeah, BRB. Okay, so it turns out one of the bug fix mods I got to, you know, alleviate apparently some of the problems that I'll be having with this game gave me an out of combat movement speed increase. 
personally, I'm okay with that. If that's all I get, I'm a okay with that. Now's better than later. New. And apparently, I'm putting my gloves. Anyway. I wonder if there's like a longbow with rapid aim. Jesus Christ, we are zooming though. Kind of like it. I don't like it, not gonna lie. Okay, yeah, the combat increases only. EXP then. Oh, cool. That's also convenient. Apparently, it's has some quality of life shit, too. Now I'm all down for that. By the way, so yeah, we're not gonna conversate with a fucking demon. No. Fuck you. Guys, please. Thank you. Where is Drayden going? Also, I'm glad that Drayden had his mind enough to realize, wait a second, I don't want, that's not my grandmother, kill her. Here's me an old research mage for a burnt this This details a serious experience, intense clinical Day 32. The subject is not responding to the, the subject is not the responding to the stimuli. Only three Testing the pain threshold has uncovered nothing. Oh. Only three subjects are left. Day 82. If only I could reproduce last night's extraordinary success. Electricity is only a catalyst. The blood is the key. Day 97. Energy and blood. Repeated applications have duplicated the results. I conjecture that success can be induced alchemically. But there are no more subjects left. If only I had one more, or a dozen, the things I could do. Oh. Got it. Okay. So, yeah. Now's better than later. Let's see. Avernus's notes. So they went rogue. Yeah, the I yeah, yeah. These guys went rogue for some reason. This set of Grey Wardens went rogue. Huh. Tain allows us to sense the dark spawn. The longer we survive with the Tain in our blood, the more prone it becomes. Unfortunately, this corruption will eventually overwhelm the warden over time. It devours both mind and body, leaving nothing. But what if, I, if the spread of contagion could be stopped or contained in some way? What if the warden could become more powerful without having the power kill him? How great would that power be? Would it be enough to stop the demons? The joining ritual is crude. We take into ourselves the demon blood with dark spawn in the most obvious way. Most die from the corruption immediately. It is, after all, poison. There must be some way to refine the joining. Isolate the true power that is found with the dark spawn blood and leave behind the evil that kills us. I can feel the corruption starting to take its toll on my body. I must not succumb. There is much too much work to be done. Though my magic have, I've been able to slow its inevitable spread, but not stop it completely. I'm starting to hear things, even awake. A voice more beautiful than any other that calls to me from the depths. In my dreams, I see the Black City. I'm drawn towards it. There's something there, an answer to what this taint is, this taint that we share with the Bernard Spawn. Okay. Oh, this is a battle room. 
I hear you. Don't disrupt my concentration. Who the hell are you? Wait, are you uh, Avernus? Even now, the demons seek to replenish their numbers. Are you to thank for this welcomed but temporary imbalance? The old warden mage? You're still alive? Only just. I have only a short time left. Careful. This man has dabbled in matters forbidden by the I don't trust maker. him either, especially when using blood magic trail, and summoning demons. But don't trust him. Sir, the maker told you that, did he? Short-sighted men have forbidden my research, not any god. <laughs> Enough. Why are you here? What is your intent? I want some answers. To what questions, I wonder? Ask. How have you survived this many years? The Chantry foolishly forbids blood magic. But there are so many secrets to uncover. As my body decayed, I found ways to extend it. But that can only go so far. Tell me what happened here. What use would storytelling serve? The tyrant Arland is long dead. As is all our noble co-conspirators and the Grand Rebellion. Sophia's corpse may walk and talk. But she, too, is no more. How was Arlen a tyrant? He ruled with fear and poison. His treachery pit noble against noble in terrible battle. We thought him a monster. We gathered allies to rebel. But the toll of years has erased our failure, hasn't it? It seemed so pressing then. But the kingdom lives on. What happened to the rebellion? Too many mouths to quiet. Even sorcery can only go so far. So we met with Tian Kuzland. With him on our side, we had a chance of victory. Instead, the King's Guard ambushed us. Commander Dryden and I barely escaped. You practice blood magic on of the course, nobles? to nudge people to keep our secrets safe. Sophia should have let me nudge harder. Her scruples were her undoing. You had to know what summoning some enemy was full Perhaps, hardy. but it was survival. For months, I prepared the summoning circles, researched the darkest depths. You both of the need to die. That moment was a triumph of demonic law. Dozens of demons called by my hand, but with so many variables, I suppose calculation errors were inevitable. Ugh. I was so close. You're to blame for all this. Something you just From don't a do. Warden, that means something. So tired, so old. Let me undo my greatest of mistakes. Let me cleanse this place. Then, then, I will accept whatever justice you feel I merit. Death. Commander Dryden knew of the demons? She gave the order. I would have summoned the demons anyway. Only under wardens can true magical research continue. A chance to rediscover the secrets of ancient Tevinta. You do remember how that ended? The Black City, Darkspawn... Chantry lies told to subjugate the mages to keep them docile. How do you know the Chantry's and wrong? And how do you know they are right? Their faith would have you swallow a great deal for small comfort. You... I want to ask something. Your yes. demons literally killed the innocent people. Sophia's great-grandson brought me here. Let me go ahead. Master Mage, uh... Sir, our family name has been worth less than dirt for over a century. Do you have any proof that Sophia was a hero? The boy who braved the mists. So you heeded my call. <laughs> and you are a Dryden. The cosmos has a sense of humor. Your call. He was but a boy when he entered the tunnels below the peak. His heart pure, his character certain. In dreams, I gave him the keys he would need. He would be my deliverance. Let's answer Levy's Your question. Your great-great-grandmother was the best of us. Brave, charismatic, fiery, utterly devoted to the fight. But still we lost. We fought against a tyrant, you know. So full of vigor then, so blind to consequence. But proof? There's none to be had. I'm sorry, Levy. Uh, I had hoped. But thank you, Warden. What was the purpose of your experiments? To stop the demonic tide, to correct the miscalculations of the past. Blood magic comes from demons. 
They could counter every bit of law I knew. But the Darkspawn Taint, that is alien to them. And it has power. What power? The Wardens use it merely to sense Darkspawn. A triviality. My research has discovered so much more. Hinted at even greater heights. This knowledge could not only save Soldier's Peak, with it, the Wardens could grow even more powerful. Well, have monster was sacrificed. It was followers. necessary. It was vital. The few meager years of life they would have spent trapped in this tower were nothing compared to the greater goal. I gave their death meaning. Uh, can you teach what you You've learned? already read my research. But in time, with the proper materials, I could learn so much more. I want to ask something else. Yes. Time for so be over. it. My only request, if justice or vengeance drive you, stay your hand until the demons are dealt with. Until the demons are dead. We are allies. That will do for now. We must go to the Great Hall. There, I will repair the damage I caused so long ago. There will be peril. The demons will fight us every step of the way. Come. Yeah, you don't... Oh, if I had not gone with that, he would have summoned those monsters and I would have had to fight him. Longbow, Whitewood. Same thing. Master Lockpicker. Call me Jill. You literally have corpses strung around the wall still. Get out of here with that nonsense of, oh, for the greater good. My ass. Yo, this speed thing is nice, though. I'm gonna drink whatever potion this is. Remember, kids, just drink all random right, shit. What's right. the worst that could happen? Culmination. Maybe you drink it. Sure, let's drink it. What happens? Diabolists. What did I get? Oh, cool. Blood power. Tapping the... Makes the rose more nimble. Able to move more quickly while using stealth. And more likely to dodge physical attacks. Catch four, creating a wave of, of edges of weapon. With the Get the bonus to... Oh, cool. Huh. Well, fuck that, though. We must hurry. Move faster. Dude, get a mod that lets you walk faster. This is nice, though. Just being able to move faster out of combat. Remember when mod uh, achievements were tied to... Um, out of, uh, tied to the game itself so that adding mods and cheats technically didn't change anything. Nowadays, if I had modded it, the game would have been like, oh, you can't get your achievements because you're modding. That doesn't just be fair, because then you could add, like, weapons that just instantly kill everything and never miss. Gas, 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 I want to step on the gas. I'm destroying that pile, by the way. Get off my back. We must act quickly. The demons are clawing on the gates. The veil must be closed. Yep. What do I do? I will unravel the summoning circles I drew so long ago. Waves of spirits and demons may come through. Dispatch them. I will begin. I want you to know First, I'm killing you after this. I must summon the magic. You've taken way energy. too many innocent lives I to be, uh, be allowed to live any longer. They're coming. All right, back up.
just have you drink a Lyrian potion. Bear, what are you doing? In the kneecaps. Strong now. Stronger, at least. I said I'd submit to judgment. No! So I shall. Can I be left to experiment in peace? No! You've killed countless people! You summoned demons that killed your own kind! Your experiments caused all this! But then again, we do need help against the dark spawn. You must atone. Research ways to help the warrens ethically. With what time I have left, I will do this. It may take months or years for my research to reach fruition. When it does, I will send for you. Thank you for this, warden. You've done it, warden. Soldier's Peak is safe again. That old geezer of Vernus deserves the gallows, if you ask me, but people will do queer things to survive. But if he does the proper research, without the sacrifices and blood magic and all, maybe he'll turn up something good. But there was no proof to redeem my family. Your past won't offer redemption. Try the future instead. For so long, I was focused on the past, on answers. But I think I would have been better off had I stayed at home. Enough of that, though. I find myself at a loss. You've got a whole fortress now. I suppose I should start plying my trade again. Where will you go? I might use the peak as a base of operations. So many bandits about. But none would dare come here. Nice place to store trade goods. You, of course, will get a sizable discount. Yeah. We fought well here. The Irish shock would be pleased. Nice. Master of the Peak. Alright. Raise up your magic. And then from now on, we're only going to raise your wisdom. Wisdom? Wisdom. Haste! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. How fast is this train? Okay, let's turn off Arcane Shield then. Let's change your tactic as well. Uh, let's clear... Yeah, 
let's change this to self any activate haste let's clear this yeah you're just going pure support self mana 10% or lower use most powerful lyrium yeah so your job is just to buff everybody else up I honestly don't care much about this. What other options do I have? Yeah, this can honestly go. Self, HP, 20% or lower, use most powerful potion. Safe reset. There we go. At your service. What other combat things you get? Song of. Oh, I am zooming now. Jesus. This moving speed is nice, though. Ain't gonna lie. Hey, can I buy anything from you right now? Once my family comes, I might have some merchandise you could buy. Gas, gas, gas. I want to step on the gas. Yo, this moving speed feels real nice. Oh, statement of defiance. On these grounds, virtuous men stood against a tyrant. Grimorin, read the names of the fallen. Cherithor Lopez, Sir Derek, Jason Longbow. These are people. Who, these are the people who worked on the <laughs> on the DLC. I can already tell. These are people who worked on the DLC. <laughs> I can't even be yeah. mad. I honestly love when devs do that. Just kind of like, hey, I worked on this shit. My name's it going in. You can't stop me. Fuck off if you think you can. Oh, I missed. Uh, apparently I missed this. Thank you. Ancient history. Yeah, I'll come back to this probably. All and right, I believe that's all, right. all the DLC. Cool. Back to camp I go. I think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. Yes, you have me quite worried. You should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. You spoke to Petra, did you not? She told you I saved her from a demon. I did, but I did not survive that encounter. But you're standing right here. Let me explain fully. I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me whispering quietly to me. The sensation is impossible to describe. I was being held back firmly, but gently, as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp. I felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again. I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. That's an amazing story. The Fade contains spirits, both benevolent See, and remember malicious. what I was talking about? The benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known, because they want nothing from mortals, unlike the demons. It was one of these spirits that saved me. Without it, I would be dead. And it has not left me. It is with me, even now, bonded to me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. 
I am living on borrowed time. Then we'll make the best of that time. Yes, that we will. So, remember how I was talking about earlier how uh, spirits are, they're both benevolent and malevolent spirits. And at times, depending on how things go, spirits of benevolence will really pop up to, to help people, as we did with Gwyn here. Technically, she should have died, but there's a spirit who just brought her back from the mortal coil. I must ask, what does being a Grey Warden mean to you? It means... <laughs> I don't know. Does it mean something? I just something? wanted to know what you thought being a Grey Warden was about. Ultimately, being a Grey Warden is about serving others. About serving all people, whether elves or dwarves or men. You mean I serve as a protector? As a Grey Warden, you are a guardian of men. And you guard them because their continued existence is more important than you are. Thus, it is you who serves, not they. I'll keep that in mind. A good king, a true king, who cares for his land, uses his power to rule firmly but fairly. He serves his people first and foremost. The king who does not do this, who believes that he is entitled to his power, who abuses it, and uses it for his own the tyrant. So in a way, having power confines you. If you live apart from others, and your actions affect only you, then you may do as you wish. But if you have power, influence, and strength, your every action will be as a drop of water in a clear, still pond. The drop causes ripples, and ripples spread. Think of how far they will go. How wide they will become. How will they affect the pond? But I've lectured enough for today. I should stop before I wear out my welcome. What's on your mind? Why did the spirit choose to help you? I have always had an affinity for the spirits of the Fade. As a child, I never feared my dreams because I knew they were there. What about the demons? I could sense the demons, too. And their presence frightened me. It was the kindly spirits of the Fade that took the fear from me. I've always been able to feel the spirits, even if I never saw them. And as I nurtured my talent in the circle, I became more sensitive. I began to notice every time I was in the Fade, whether it was in a dream or in magical practice, that I was being watched. Do spirits watch people like that? I suppose they must. It is these benevolent spirits that create our dream worlds in the Fade. Sometimes I would see it, a glowing, nebulous form. Most times I would just feel its presence, gentle and comforting, but somehow alien. I think it is a spirit of faith. They have never been seen before, and perhaps I am wrong. But something tells me I'm not. It always felt like the same entity. This one spirit was curious about me, and was guarding me, for want of a better word. You mean it protected you? There were times when I was in the Fade that it seemed to stretch forth to shield me, keeping me safe. And I think it gave me strength in my most terrible battles, Ostagar being one of them. So a spirit of faith is your personal protector? I don't know why I was chosen. Perhaps it knew that there was something more that lay in store for me. I like to think that I was given a rare chance. And I'm going to make the best of the time so generously given to me. I'm glad you're traveling with me for what, uh, I will not lie motionless in a bed with coverlets up to my chin, waiting for death to claim me. That is not the death for me. And so I will fight alongside the Grey Warden and help prepare her for the task that is yet before her. So you had better listen to me, because I swear, if I should fall before the end and you don't seem to be doing things properly, I'll get up again to give you a good finger-wagging. <laughs> I'll hold you to that you promise, Wynn. I think you'll be all right, even without my help. I like Wynn. I know people What's are like, oh, she's mind? boring. I like her motherly thing. What do you think about being a great warden? Is something troubling you? I would expect so much no from me. No one said it would be easy. 
You are one of the two surviving Grey Wardens in Ferelden. You defend all of us, and much rests on your shoulders. It may not mean much to you, but thank you for having the courage to continue to fight. I'll be ready when the time comes. And that gives me hope. Have you heard much about the Grey Wardens of old? I know they're more respected than the old days. said that watching the Wardens ride in on their white griffins was enough to rouse a weary heart and put the dance back in the step of an old man. The Grey Wardens were powerful, feared and respected, but they also inspired the common people. I remember a tale that was told to me many years ago. Go on. The Blight had ravaged the land for months, and the armies of the great kings had amassed for one last stand. As the sun burst through the clouds that boiled and churned in the dark sky above, it illuminated a vast, seething horde of darkspawn, with the archdemon at its head. And it was then, when courage seemed to fail, and all lost to death and despair, that the Grey Wardens came. They arrived with the beating of wings like mighty war drums and stood before the armies of men. Griffins? Yes, Griffins. Now listen to the rest of the story. The Grey Wardens, grim and fearless, marched forth, ever between the men and the encroaching darkspawn. They formed a shield of their own bodies and held that line until the archdemon was dead and the last darkspawn lay trampled in the dirt and then, demanding neither reward nor recognition for their sacrifice. The Grey Wardens departed. When the clouds finally rolled back, and the sun shone full upon the blighted ground, the Grey Kings knew that they had lost no men, and none of their blood had been spilled. I like happy endings. This is a tale about no battle the Grey Wardens have fought, and yet about them all. They have always defended us from the Darkspawn, taking losses so we do not have to. People may have forgotten over the centuries, but nothing has changed. This knowledge has been blessing and burden to Grey Warden's past, and now it shall be your blessing and your burden. I'm ready. What's on your mind? As a Grey Warden, I'll never have a lead a normal life. No, I? you won't. Yeah, that makes me sad. You wonder sometimes, don't you? If your life would be better if you weren't who you are. A little. When I was a young woman in the tower, I came to the realization that the circle would be my life, and I would know no other. Family, love, a simple life. These were things that others took for granted, that I would never have. That's always great on the other side. It made me very moody. All I could think of was being trapped in that tower with no way out and no end in sight. I started hating my life and myself, and one night I found myself in the tower's chapel. I was seeking refuge, maybe answers. Did you find anything? I must have looked tearful or made some noise, because the revered mother came out and decided to speak to me. And because I had no one else to talk to, I talked to her. I must have said many silly things, but she told me that the Maker puts us all on our paths for a reason, and fighting our intended course is what causes so much anguish. And that made you feel better? <laughs> I thought the old biddy was full of rubbish. I was 15, maybe 16, and I knew everything. So I left, but I always found my way back to that chapel. And as the years passed, I began to see the truth of her words. We were supposed to be polar opposites, mage and priest. But we weren't. There was much about us that was the same. The revered mother had too. lived in the Chantry all her life, as I had been in the tower for all of mine. She taught me that you can find your family in the people around you. That you can love your work and find fulfillment in duty. And there is joy even in self-sacrifice. If you put others before yourself, then their well-being is yours. I, as someone who is a former teacher, I can very much get around behind that. 
Would you hate me if I said you were full of rubbish? <laughs> I can't do that to Wynn. I like Wynn too much. It won't be easy to live that way. You can scream and cry and be angry about life as a Grey Warden. Or you can accept it and allow yourself to see the good in it. This is your choice. What's on your mind? There's something we can do to cure you. Cure me? What? Am I sick now? You're a little dead. Even you know that you cannot cure the dead. And I'm not the only one dying. You are too. <laughs> I'm just more efficient about it. <laughs> ah, child. Your concern is heartwarming. But death comes to everyone. And it is not something to fear. I don't fear death as the dying that scares People me. People fear not death, but having life taken from them. Many waste the life given to them, occupying themselves with things that do not matter. When the end comes, they say they did not have time enough to spend with loved ones, to fulfill dreams, to go on adventures they only talked about. But why should you fear death if you are happy with the life you have led? If you can look back on everything and say, Yes, I am content. It is enough. Are you content? I think I've led a good life. A full life. And I, for one, am not afraid of death. Whatever it may bring. They say that when you die, your spirit travels through the Fade and returns to the Maker. And after that, we'll see, won't we? I like when. What's on your mind? Do you have any grits at all? I try not to dwell too much on the mistakes of my past, of which there are many. I would go quite mad if I did that. But I do have one regret. The greatest misstep of my life. Made even more grave because it had dire consequences for someone else. What did you do? Years ago, I was assigned as mentor to a lad, Anaren. He was my first apprentice. Anaren was an elf, raised in one of the elven alienages. And he was very mistrustful of humans, especially humans in authority. I can see that's going to be trouble. What Anaren needed was time. Time to get used to his new home. Time to emerge from his shell, so we could build a rapport. I gave him no such time. I was young and arrogant. He is a mage, I thought. He needs to grow up and act like one. I expected too much from him, too quickly. I gave no consideration to his origin or his feelings, eh? and he retreated further from me. All I could think of was how stubborn he was, how he was throwing away all his talent and his potential, just to be difficult. And what do you think of you? Oh, I dread to think. I was a harsh taskmistress. He might have thought I was a demon in disguise. You cannot You're plant crops in the in cold disguise. wintry ground. You cannot teach a student who is closed off and unresponsive. Patience is what is needed, and I learned that too late to help him. What happened to Aaron? And Aaron ran away from the circle one night. I had berated him over some trivial, ridiculous matter that I no longer remember. I drove him away because of something utterly unimportant. He was a child, 14 at the time of his leaving. They had his phylactery. And they hunted him down. Who hunted him down? The Templars. That is what they do. They hunt down and neutralize rogue mages. They called him Malificar. A mage who practices forbidden magic, deserving of death. He was a child, misunderstood and lost. I begged the Templars to tell me if he suffered, if they gave him a quick death. I got no answers from them. I was his mentor, and they wouldn't even tell me what became of him. That's not your fault. I should have known better. I had the best mentors. They were kind, compassionate. Why didn't I learn from them? I failed in Aaron. All I had to do was listen to him. He would try to talk to me, and I would tell him to concentrate on his spells. He talked about the alienage sometimes. And the Dalish. He always talked about looking for the Dalish elves. Maybe he did find the Dalish. The Templars are well trained and thorough. That he still lives, it would be a vain hope. 
The apprentices that came after Aneran benefited greatly from the lessons I learned from him. In a sense, he was my teacher, and I his student. Maybe his sacrifice was worthwhile. And there it is. My story. My one greatest regret. What's on your mind? Why is that she's in the circle? I will answer to the best of my ability. Why didn't you stay at the tower? The circle is in good hands. Irving knows what to do, and he doesn't need me underfoot. For now, I will support those that battle the Darkspawn. I do feel I left things unfinished in Ostagar. There is so much left to do, and I would be part of it. I'm glad for your company. The Grey Wardens, all two of you, ah. need all the help you can get. I will see this through to the bitter end, and after that, if I am still left standing, then I will return to the circle. I'm sure you'll be able to return if you choose. Perhaps. What's on your mind? I will answer to the best of my ability. How do you become a mage? People don't become mages. They are born mages. The talent just surfaces later. But you are asking how I ended up at the Circle. I was brought there by the Templars, just like many of the other apprentices. I don't remember very much. I was very young then. What about your family? I didn't have a family. I never knew my real parents. My earliest memory was of hiding in a hayloft on a farm, trying to keep warm. I was found, and the farmer's wife was kind enough not to send me away. But they had children of their own, and I was never made to feel welcome. The eldest son was the worst. He was always calling me a stray, and throwing anything he could get his hands on at me. And I don't know how it happened, but one day, he just found his hair on fire. <laughs> <laughs> when? So is it right? He ran screaming, dripping head and all, to his mother. I was shut up in the barn with a bowl of water and a crust of hard bread. The Templars arrived several mornings later. What happened when you arrived at the tower? I'll never forget the moment the Templars led me into the entrance hall of the tower. I had never seen anything so grand in my life. I stopped being afraid then. I knew I was home. That's a great story. Well, that's about all there is to my tale. That's how I came to the circle. What was life like in the tower? I would be lying if I said it was easy. First, there were rules, and we were constantly watched to make sure we behaved appropriately. Then there was the study of magic. We had to cast the spells just so, control the effects completely. A single word, spoken incorrectly, a gesture out of sync, and lack of focus. And we needed to have perfect focus, or we would be in danger. At least learn the dangers of magic from Without the circle. the circle and my mentors, I would not have been where I am today. And there was joy in life at the Circle. The joys of fellowship, in knowing that you were not alone in your struggles. In spite of everything... I was happy in the tower, and I loved it. This is something I want to discuss right now. Alright. We will continue talking to people later now. We got some gear that we need to dole out. Antique, rapid aim, nah. Dragon's breath, mage. Keep the arrows, sell all that. Helm of Honoreth. This is honestly worth it more than the Templar helmet. Better. 36 strength fight for you. Warden armor. Warden boots. Did they get any gifts while I was there? No. Enchantment? Enchantment! Spell resistance? Sure. 
If there's anything I can do for you, I'm sh All right, let's sell some shit. Battle axe, dagger, longbow, antique warden bow, bolts. That can stay. Uh, keep that. Sell this. And this. And this. So keep that. Sell this. Sell this. And this. Sell this. And sell this. And this. And this. And this. Sell this ass blast. I'm never going to use it. I know myself. Sell this garnet. Sell the cross rock. Much better. All right, let's go. next you know what let's head to Orzammar another random battle alright let's go hello darkspawn Sorry, they were on top of the hill. Let's summon the bear. I mean, if you just... <laughs> Can you drink potions? Yes, you can. Can you stop that? when you are god fucking damn I didn't even get to play really
out you guys first. Said I'd well, the bright side no skip to all this. Says I know a whole thing about fortress doing. now. I suppose I should. You know I'm not. <sighs> Haste, play, change your shit up. Okay, change this to self. Any. Activate mode haste. Change the change this to self. Man levels ten percent or low. Most powerful lyrian potion say preset. Uh, I need to say more often, man. Old school RPGs and their unwillingness to save for you is just frustrating at times, to put it mildly. Do a ladder, so you go. Grab this. I gotta go through all that wind dialogue again. Ooh. Also, turn this off. You don't need this on anymore. What can I do? All right, all right. Camp. I think I owe you an explanation. You spoke to Petra. I felt life. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this. I must ask, what does being a Grey Warden mean? Ultimately, being a Grey Warden, thus it is you, the king who does not do it. What's on your mind? I have always had an affinity. I've always... I began to notice every time. It always felt like the same entity there, and I think it gave me strength. I like to think that I was given a rare chance. So you had better listen. What's on your mind? Cure me? Ah, oh, child. But why should you fear death? What's on your mind? But I do have... Anarin was an elf, raised in one of the elven alienages, and he was very mistrustful. All he knew of the... All I could think of was... Patience is what is... He was a child. I begged the Templar. He talked about the alienage sometime. The apprentices that came after it. What's on your mind? Hmm. Is something trouble? It may not mean much to you. Have you heard much about the Grey Wardens of old? I remember it. They arrived with the... 
When the clouds find... What's on your mind? No, you won't. You wonder sometimes. Family, love, a simple life. I started hating my... But she told me that... We were supposed to be polar opposites, mage. And there is joy, even in self-sacrifice. What's on your mind? I will answer to... For now, I will support those that battle the Darkspawn. And after that, if... What's on your mind? I will answer... Skip it through I all this content. There, but... And dialogue. I don't know how... The Templars arrived. I stopped being... Well... A single word spoke... In spite of... Any... What's on your mind? I will answer to... There we go. Okay. Uh... Was there anything I wanted to equip? I think I wanted to keep the helmet for Liliana. I need to keep the helmet. Yeah, I only need to keep the helmet. I only need to... Wait, yeah, I only need to keep the helmet for you. Yeah, I just need to keep the helmet. Okay. Enchantment? Enchantment? I'm you and your friends are God damn. I'm sorry everybody. I apologize. Keep that. Keep the helmet. Keep that for right now. Sell this and this and this and this and this. Keep all this and this and this and this. Keep all that. I'm not gonna use this. Sell this. Sell this. Okay. Gotta save. New save, apparently. Win. Yes. Shale. Yes. Morgana. Orzammar. Am I actually gonna make it? Oh, there it is. There's the interrupts. Okay, so what are your abilities exactly, Show? Let me see your thing. Self, any precise strikes. Let's find three enemies. Let's do this one first. Bellow. Let's see, what are the two stances? So we have Stone Hearts, Stone Aura. Rock Mastery. Activates a mode that allows offensive talents taking a penalty to defense and change for bonus to damage. While Slam, with Slam, Shale gains an additional bonus to damage. With Quake, Shale gains a bonus to armor titration. With Killing Blows, Shale gains a permanent greater damage bonus. Rock Mastery. Activates a mode that allows ranged attack talents. Gains a large bonus to missile attacks. With suffering deficits to defense, armor, and melee crit chance. Nearby power members also gains rage crit. Oh, okay. Guess we're turning on Rock Mastery. Cool. Up here, 
here, please. I have to be Jesus. Holy shit! I'm, I use I am not fast with that. How are you guys doing up here? Pretty okay, I see. I attack so goddamn fast. Yo. Oh, hi. My aim is attacking like at the speed of a mortal attack. Imagine if I get a bow with also having rapid aim. I'd be firing like a goddamn monster. Did you just summon the spirit? I called forth the spirit that sustains me so that it could lend us aid. I did not realize it would take this much out of me. It seemed a good idea at the time, if a little rash. I think it may have weakened the spirit a little. It took you so you could kill yourself well, doing that. Um, that's certainly conceivable. Why is your hand I suppose like that? I shouldn't though, when... be using that particular trick to entertain children at parties. Are you sure in control of that it's thing? It's not a demon that requires controlling. Really, you need not fear it. I promise I'll be careful. And thank you. Your concern is touching. Okay. That being said, I can actually level you up now, so... Level this up. And let's get some more willpower. Let's get that willpower at least 30. Ooh, new tactic slot. Of course. Let's see. Enemy. Uh, visible mage. Usability. Mana drain. Mana drain does actually just take, take mana, right? Yes. That needs to go above everything else. Save presets. Go. All right, all right. Holy shit, Shale. Hmm. Hmm. I might never take Shell off my party now, because that attack speed increase is kind of nutty. All right, all right. Now's better than later. Gas, gas, gas. I want to step up again. There we go. And after all that trouble and I and ire, 
We are finally at the Frost Beak Mountains. We are about to enter Orzammar, but for right now, I think it's a pretty good place to stop. When we return, we're going to go deal with the dwarves. But for right now, I want everyone to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you're at. But for right now, I'm out. Later.